Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I was going to make a video about this 128x64 I2C OLED display module running the Adafruit SSD 1306 OLED library on an Arduino Uno. But then I realized these OLED displays have been out for a few years now, so what fun would that be? I have an idea. Can I take this same sketch and just upload it to my Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect? Let's see. Go, 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 go. Before we continue, please check the links in the description down below. Like and comment on this video. Also, please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thanks. Whoa, the same code that works on the Uno for this SSD OLED display also works on the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect without any modification at all. I just hooked up the 3.3 volt ground A4 to SDA, A5 to SCL on the Connect to the OLED display and off it went. For today's examples, you will want to have the libraries we installed from my previous video. Arduino LSM 6DSOX and PDM libraries. You will also need to have the Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306 OLED libraries installed. We will do some mashups to demo the inertial measurement unit and PDM microphone data and display it on this 128x64 I2C OLED display module. We are copying the initialization and setup and using a few lines of display code from this SSD 1306 128x64 I2C example sketch from the Adafruit SSD 1306 OLED library. Props to Lemore Freed, Lady Ada, for the code. And if I've bought one thing from Adafruit, I've bought quite a few things. Their website's a great resource for both hardware and documentation. From the Arduino LSM 6DSOX library, we get the initialization and setup code from the simple accelerometer sketch. Read and display X, Y, and Z data on the top bar of the OLED display and roll this ball around on the screen. It also grows bigger and smaller based on the Z axis value. Check it out. From the PDM library, we get the initialization and setup code for the PDM serial plotter sketch. Display the PDM data on the top bar, that's okay, but it's not very compelling. I try out two different graphic examples to bring more life to the audio data. A little music will jazz things up. I hope you don't mind. At the start, I would have only given 2575 odds that the code I wrote for the Arduino Uno would just work on the Kinect without any modification. Comment down below if you think it's okay to use Kinect as a short name for the Arduino Nano RP2040 Kinect, or what would you use to refer to it? Also, should I try this OLED display on the Raspberry Pi Pico? Or would you like me to work through some more tutorials for the Kinect? Stay tuned! Thank you very much. Before you go on to the next video, please check the links in the description down below. Like and comment on this video. Also, please click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thanks.